Okay, this is a quick snapshot of a the video, the tutorial that I did on lip syncing. And somebody had mentioned about how to get the characters behind the car because this is the original and it is only one layer. So there isn't anything you can do to get characters behind there. So let's just... Um, grab a couple characters. Right here, she is on top of the car, he is on top of the car. So there is a way that you can do that. And some of you may be really good with um, Photoshop and all of those, but I'm not. So Canva, <laughs> Canva comes in handy. So what you're going to do is you can just publish this image, usually it's on video when you start, um, you just click on image. You can get a transparent background, but that's not going to matter on this. And then you're just going to save it. This is going to replace what I already have. And then what you're going to do is in Canva, you're going to upload the image and then you're going to use the um, awesome magic grab and that's going to grab the car and then I just copied it onto another page you can see that underneath because it's a one one layer image you don't really have a good under image but if you have photoshop and you know how to do that go for it I don't know how to do that um, so I just wanted the car so then I just copied it onto a page and then I just downloaded that as a ping transparent and I end up with I brought it into create studio and I ended up with the image now I did show in another tutorial, but you can get rid of this excess mask by just detaching it. And then you can just crop it a little bit if you want so it's not so large. Then you're just going to size it to the image. I'm not going to spend a lot of time trying to get this a perfect fit but you get the idea and I often reduce the opacity to see how close I got mine's a little bigger but that's probably better because then it won't have any overlap with the under image now it's so as you can see it's a little bit bigger but that's okay it will make it so it doesn't show and so now I'm going to bring my characters back over. And you can see they're still above it. And that is because I kept this at a very low opacity. So let's turn that up a little. And my sizing wasn't so great. But you guys can work on that. But the minute you put that image over it, look, there they are. They're behind it instead of on top of it. And that way you can just simulate a quick I'm going to flip her over and then you can just have her walking behind. He's behind. And that's a simple way of making a layered image from a single imaged file. If you want to do that. Have fun.